Hi guys, welcome to another morning of GSC at home. My name is Alicia and today we're going to be doing a really cool experiment called Make Your Own Lava Lamp. Now this experiment is really good for seven and up or younger kids as long as they have adult supervision. So let's get started. For those of you who maybe don't know what a lava lamp is, they look absolutely nothing like what I've drawn behind me because I am not an artist. But you can see it's a lamp. It's got a light at the bottom and it has some really cool floating orbs that look very relaxing and kind of go up and down all throughout the lamp. They were really popular in the 60s and they were invented right here in the UK, which is pretty cool. They have a hot lamp down here at the bottom and it's actually wax that's inside the lava lamp. So as the lamp heats up the wax, it starts to grow and expand. And as it expands, it loses density. So it becomes less dense than the liquid in the lamp and it starts to rise to the top. Once it gets to the top, it's not close to the lamp anymore. So it starts to cool down. It gains a little bit more density and it sinks back down to the bottom. As long as that light is on, it just does this over and over again, floating throughout the day, very peaceful and relaxing. So we're gonna get started making our own lava lamps and you'll need some really simple things that hopefully you guys already have at home. First things first, you'll want some sort of clear container. It doesn't really matter what it is. It's best if you use something that's a bit smaller, otherwise you're gonna go through a lot of oil and a lot of water. We're gonna use this beaker right here. Just make sure you can see through it because that's the best part. You're also gonna need some cold water. I've got some right here in the bottom. You'll need some oil. Any kind of cooking oil is fine. Doesn't really matter what it is. You'll also need some awesome, crazy colors. Food coloring is really good. Make sure that you wear something to protect yourself because food coloring can stain your clothing. I am going to be using red today because red is my favorite color. You will need a straw or an eyedropper or even a spoon, something that you're going to suck up your food coloring with and drop it into the water. So whatever works for you at home. And then the last ingredient is going to be a fizzy or effervescent tablet. Depending on what you have at home, it might be different than what I have right here. This is a vitamin C tablet, but if you have anything fizzy and effervescent, it should work too. First thing that you're going to do, get your clear container and fill it about a quarter of the way up with some cold tap water. We're gonna be kind of going in and out of the measurements. It doesn't have to be exactly a quarter. You just do what you think is best. So a quarter of the way up with some cold water. Then we are going to slowly add some oil to it. So I like to tilt the glass a wee bit and we're gonna pour it kind of slowly down the side of the glass so that way it will stay on top. So we're gonna fill this up to about three quarters of the way, all the way up to the top, but leaving some room. And you're gonna wait for it to separate. So you'll see that the bottom has the water and on top should be the oil. That is because the oil is less dense than the water below it. Once that separates and you've got two really good layers, you are then going to take your cool color. I've also seen this done with glitter. So if you want to add some cool color and maybe something sparkly, that's also really cool. I think sparkles make everything better. I'm going to add about 10 drops, but you can do whatever you want. And I said I was going to add 10 drops, but really I've just shot a whole bunch of red coloring into there. So that's fine too. This does get a bit messy. So make sure you have a tablecloth or something down on your table that will make the color not stain anything. I'm gonna push this down into the bottom of the glass. And now the last bit is the best bit. So you're going to take your fizzy tablet and you're going to break it into smaller pieces. Um, you can break it into quarters, you can smash it, whatever you like to do. I've got a few chunks right here and we're going to add them into our mixture. They'll sink right down to the bottom and we'll see what happens. So, and it might take a wee while to start to react, but you'll see the tablet's gonna start to break down. I'm gonna add another piece. And it's going to start to effervesce, so it's creating CO2 gas. The gas is combined with the water, which is rising up through the oil, along with those colorful globs. Once the gas gets to the top, it gets released into the air, and so that means the water's got nothing to grab onto, and the water sinks right back down into the bottom. I'm gonna add another tablet because this looks really cool. And so, you've got your own lava lamp. 
If you want to try this at home, please send us your videos. We want to see what yours looks like. If you want to do something different, maybe you want to add hot water instead of cold water. Maybe you put a whole tablet in or just a few little pieces. Um, get creative, have a bit of fun, and show us your experiments.